Up to this point, we've gone over how to navigate the Final Cut Pro 10 environment, how to work in the timeline, tools and editing types, how to apply effects, choose and create presets, and all about transitions. In this lesson, we're gonna go over how to work with titles and graphics. We'll go in deep, creating custom titles, lower thirds, and 3D text. Let's take a look. Before you get started, a really important aspect of creating any title and graphic is making sure that your viewer sees them. And part of that is making sure that your graphics are within their viewable area of their device. No matter it be a phone, a computer monitor, a television set, what have you, the best way to do that is through having title and action safe on. And it's really simple to turn on within Final Cut. You just go up to the viewer here and you go up to view and you turn show title action safe zones. And now it gives you the viewable area of what your title and action safe are. What this will do is make sure that your titles don't go outside the viewing area of your viewer's device. So the very first line from the outside in is your action safe and the second line, the one most closest to the middle, is the title safe. And you wanna make sure that whatever graphic you're creating is within that title safe. That will ensure that whatever graphic, whatever communication you're putting in your graphic makes it to your end viewer. So with that said, let's make sure that we are professional in creating graphics and that we step up to the plate and make sure that your viewer sees your graphics. With that said, Let's show you the simplest way, the fastest way, the way you ought to use to create your titles and or graphics. Right off the bat, what you want to do is find out where you want your title or graphic to go or your lower third or whatever you're making. What you want to do is you want to mark your in and out points, your place where you want these graphics to be. And it's just like before when we were trimming our clips, but now we're in the timeline and we're using the I key for in and the O key for out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the stand up here and I'm gonna show just what it looks like to mark those points in and then as well, how to apply a title or graphic. So I'm going to mark I for in and then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go Right about there is my out, just arbitrarily picking some time. You'll probably have a reason for it. Let's first open up now our title browser. So we're gonna go over where all of our other browsers are and I'm gonna choose T, which is the text browser. And I'm gonna choose the T, which is the title browser. Now, right now it's on all, you have 3D, 3D cinematic, build in and out, bumper opener, credits, elements, and lower thirds. And these are all presets that are already ready for you. So all you have to do is change the text that you wanna change and you'll have professional looking graphics right off the bat. However, most of us wanna make our own custom titles. We want them to be unique to our product that we're creating. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight for grabbing just a custom title. Nice enough, I can come down here and I can just search custom. And here it is, just custom title. And if I, I can drag and drop it in here. And there it is. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use those in and out points that we made. So uh, again, I for in. O for out, and if I come over here to this custom title, I can press the Q key and it'll just apply right over my in and out points. Now I have it applied right where I want, but now I need to customize it because all it says is title, it's not in the right location or anything. So you can see all of the controls for your title are actually in the inspector up here. Right off the bat, here's the text. So I'm gonna write Final Cut Pro and I can change the font to just about whatever I'd like to Hobo Standard, Impact. Let's go back up to Helvetica because I like it a lot, Helvetica New. And we can change its size here. We can change its alignment, left or right, if it's above or below whatever lines, but um, we don't have multiple lines, so that's not affecting anything here. And I can go into Advanced and I can change the line spacing, which I only have one line here. I can change the tracking, which is the space between the letters. And I can change the baseline, which is just if it's above or below the baseline that's here. And then I can turn it on all caps if I'd like. I'm not gonna do that. So that's just your simple text here. And if I go out and I just click on my text, I can bring it and I can put it wherever I'd like so that you can see it here. But see, that's outside of the title safe. So maybe I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And there it is, I like that. It looks fine. That's there. So it says Final Cut Pro. That's very neat. 
But what if I want to make that a 3D text and I want it to just have more depth, I want it to sit in the scene and I want to make it seem like it's just hovering there over the shoulder. So what I can do is easy enough right in the inspector is just choose and turn on 3D text. So now it's in 3D space. But the other thing is, is that it now has depth. And so I can actually make it thicker or have more depth. So I can go down here and I can change the depth so I can make it really thick 3D text, which starts to become kind of hard to read. Uh, I can change the weight so I can make them nice and fat. If I'd like to, I can round the edges or what have you. I can change the corner um, type, the back edge type. I can do lots and lots of different things. And it also opens up now my lighting and materials options. And the lighting, I can turn it down if I want. I can turn it up so it's all nice stark white. I can give it its, so it has its own shadows, which you don't see very well in here, but uh, in this scene. And I can turn that on. And now environment. So what this is, is that it only has one material now, but I can come here and I can choose all sorts of different types of materials. Sorry they're off the screen there for you, but I promise you they're there. I'm gonna choose red brick. And that looks weird. So what I wanna do is I wanna change that again, and I'm gonna go to, let's do some metal so it has a little bit of reflection on it. And that doesn't look super great either. Let's try chrome. There we go. Now let's uh, adjust this stuff a little bit. And if I go to material, I can actually choose multiple. Now it's gonna give me all sorts of options. So now I can change the front edge material, the side material, the back edge material, and change it to all sorts of different things. And they, every single one of them could be different. So if I want the front edge to be red and, and that, it doesn't look very good, but I could definitely uh, change it back to basic if I want, change it back to metal and chrome. Lots of options there. And then as well, I can come down here and change the different like metals that it's made out of or its shininess. So you can see that it kind of glistens a little bit. Um, I can change its thickness and what have you. And so I can make lots and lots of different 3D texts that look all sorts of different. Um, let's, let's just take this example. Let's do the side. I'm gonna change this to a nickel edge. And there it is, it's starting to have a little more depth. I'm gonna change this to nickel as well and see how that looks. And it's starting to look a little bit better, but still not all that great. So what if I didn't like my custom title I made and maybe I wanted to start with a preset? Easy enough, I can go over here to my title browser, choose 3D, and I still have my search options on. And now it has all sorts of options here from fading in to custom and, and the same thing with all of our different um, browser windows is that it actually will show you the animation that's happening. So here it's just a, it's a graphic that zooms in and zooms out and you can see there's some depth to that text. Now that's very cool. You now have all the control that you'd like for all of the different 3D options. But what if I want to go back and turn off 3D text and not be there? Well, I can, I can just unclick it and there it is. Now what if I wanted to then, instead of having a 3D text, I wanted to give it an outline. Well, I can do that just as easy as clicking one button and going outline. And now it's got a little outline. Now I want that to be black and choose black. And there it is, it pops out a little bit from that chair in the background. And I can get a thicker stroke if I'd like or what have you. But that doesn't look all that great. Um, let's try something else. So let's turn on a glow. And a glow is just like a drop shadow, which I'll show you in a second, but it's all around, it's not directional. So if I choose white and I want the radius to be out there, it's now starting to make the edge real fuzzy. And maybe that's what you wanna do, but in this case, it doesn't look good. So last case is drop shadow. And you can see right off the bat when I turn that on, and off that there becomes a drop shadow. So let's look at all the options that are within here. And if I change the distance, you'll really be able to see it. And if I change the distance and I change the opacity here and I blur it out a little bit, now it's really kind of setting itself away. So if I just come up here, you can see that it stands out and looks pretty good. One last thing about 3D text is if you would like to move your 3D text around, show its third dimension, you will need to control the X, Y, and Z space, as well as X, Y, and Z rotation. So what is X, Y, and Z space? Now if I click on my title here and I come up to the title, 
you see I have a green arrow, a red arrow, and this, it looks like a blue circle, but it's actually the tip of an arrow. And then other controls are the little circles here, and they control the rotation within 3D space. So let's jump into which each does. This first one, the green one, if you click and hold, you actually can move it within vertical space, which is your Y space. If you click on the red and hold, you can move it side to side, which is your Y space. And you can see as I move these, the third dimension actually changes. So if you see the perspective now on final, the 3D uh, text is far more pronounced than on Pro. And as I move it over, it changes that. So that's all perspective third dimension. And then lastly, we have the blue dot. And the blue dot, like I said, is just the end of an arrow. So if I click on it and move it left and right, it actually is going to bring the graphic further and closer to you. And it's going to change that perspective as well. It's not just scaling it. Now let's cover the 3D space rotation. So that's what these three circles do here. And as you can see, as you hover over them, they show different controls. So this far right one here, if I click on that and I rotate it, it's going to go in a circle here. And that's within 3D space. Now I'm going to undo that. If I go to the far left one, I can click on it and it's going to rotate it around like that and that's pretty neat and then lastly you have the one on the top which is going to rotate it around vertically so there you have it that's 3d text control rotation and x y and z space now what if we wanted to instead of just making a graphic we wanted to make a lower third of some sort we wanted to identify this guy on the screen which happens to be myself, and we want to uh, give him a name and a title. So I'm going to get rid of my custom graphic here, and I'm going to delete it. So I'm going to go to lower thirds, and there's a whole bunch of already lower thirds that are here. So you can see there, there's one, but that's kind of outside of the title safe. I, I don't know if that's good. And here's another one, same thing. And here's one that's, you know, maybe it'll work good. So let's try this. We're going to mark its endpoint. In point and out point. I'm going to come over here to formal and I'm going to press the Q key and it just applies it there. So there I have it, name and description. So then if I click on it, the same thing is I can actually go up here and change the name to Chris Monlux and I can then choose the description which is another line of text and I can say multimedia editor. So there it is and now you can see I have a lower third on me. That's neat and you can adjust those with all of the different, you can change the font types and you can come in here and change all of the different things that we changed with the titles and make it your own. Now these are just presets. You could create your own and bring it in if you'd like, but it's really nice to just have ones that are already there and they look quite nice. You can change the colors of them if you'd like and do all of the rest. So if I want to change the face here of the, of this lower third, I can change the color to whatever I wanted to i make it black, and there you go. Pretty simple, very, very easy, and you have a lower third. And there's even animated lower thirds that are on here as well. So if you wanted to use those, you could just go in and choose an animated lower third. And let's go to, let's see here, if I use this guy here, it looks like he animates on, lines up, and, and comes in. So you could use those, and if you'd like, or, you know, this one animates on, lights on, and and there it is up next. So no matter what you're doing, you can probably find a really great preset already, change it to your desire, and go from there to make nice professional titles and graphics for your video. In our next segment, we're gonna be covering audio.